Behind me are two very different vehicles from two very different worlds. One designed for performance, the other designed for economy. One with beautiful styling, the other practicality. One that's routinely detailed, and one that's never been detailed. But today, we're gonna to show you what it takes to maintain that showroom shine, as well as how to achieve a showroom shine. So let's get started. To begin, we brought both vehicles into the detail garage and we're going to start off the Toyota because it's far dirtier than the BMW, but our first step in any detail is to clean the dirtiest area and that's the wheels. So we're going to show you guys how to properly remove all that brake dust, road filth, and restore a beautiful OEM finish. So let's dive right in. As you can see, the wheels are covered in brake dust, road filth, and old dressings that give the tire this nasty brown look, but also the wheels look really dirty. And that's exactly why we're starting with the wheels because we wouldn't want to clean the vehicle and then bring brake dust onto a clean surface. So to begin, we already have a bucket set up with the dirt trap, all of our favorite brushes, clean running water, and we're gonna add Diablo wheel cleaner, which is going to help add lubrication and some cleaning power, which is going to help safely remove the abrasive particles of brake dust and road filth. So now we'll just add a few ounces to our bucket. And then we'll start by rinsing off the wheel to help knock off the heavier, loose dirt and debris using our ProFlow. And this is going to help prep the surface for our scrubbing process. So as you can see, even just by spraying down the surface, it looks a lot better, but that's not removing all that dirt and filth, which is why we're following that up with our Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner. And this is going to help lift off the embedded brake dust and road grime that gives it that nasty look. And it's also safe for your tires. So we'll just spray a little bit onto the surface of the tire as well as the wheel and give this a moment to dwell. And this is going to help encapsulate the filth that sticks to the wheel, especially that caked on brake dust. And now we'll activate the suds in our wash bucket using the ProFlow. And the foaming action is what's going to help give us that lubrication as well as the cleaning power. We'll start scrubbing down the tire using a big blue stiffy brush. And these plastic bristles help to scrub away the old dressings and browning from the tire and reveal a bare surface which is going to be easier for us to apply dressing to make it last longer. So start at the top. Just working back and forth. Now that we're done scrubbing down the tire, we'll grab our next brush, the Red Rocket, which has this long ferrule. The bristles are also very flexible, so it will collapse between the caliper and the wheel. And you can see it fits into any tight nooks and crannies. We're starting at the top, and you can use a clockwise or a counterclockwise motion but work methodically. So starting at the top means you're not gonna bring dirt into areas you've already cleaned. Gently working back and forth, letting the red rocket reach as far back as possible so that when you look through the wheel, it completely is clean and free of dirt and debris. And then periodically you can come back to your bucket to help rinse away the dirt and brake dust from the surface, but also to grab some fresh suds and this is going to keep the bristles nice and lubricated to prevent any kind of scratching, but also it's adding that cleaning power so that we can give this wheel that perfect finish. And lastly, we'll grab our green flag tip brush, the wheelie brush. And this has a very soft bristle, which are flagged, which means that they're split on the ends. And this is going to help us safely remove anything from the delicate face of the wheel to reveal an overall clean finish. And it gently cleans all these surfaces without scratching. Our next step, we wanna blast away all that dirt and grime that was sitting on top of the vehicle, which is why we have our ProFlow, and we're gonna pair it with our Torque Big Mouth Foam Cannon, as well as Citrus Washing Gloss and Clean Slate. Now before we get into that, let's rinse off the entire vehicle just as our prurience, and then we'll show you how to set up our two bucket method.
In front of us we have two heavy duty detailing buckets full of clean water and we'll start by placing a dirt trap inside of each bucket. Now if you're unfamiliar with what a dirt trap is, what this is is it has all of these funnels and cones which help to filter out abrasive particles that you accumulate on your wash mitt and then it forces it underneath this platform preventing it from coming back into the water which would also further prevent it from coming back to the vehicle. So we'll insert it into the bucket at a 45 degree angle and then push it all the way to the bottom. This will create a nice seal. And as we mentioned earlier, we'll be using Clean Slate paired with Citrus Washing Gloss. And Clean Slate is going to help remove any old layers of glaze, sealant, and wax. This way we have a bare surface to start fresh with. And we'll just add a couple ounces to our wash bucket. And also some Citrus Washing Gloss using the same concentration. But Citrus Washing Gloss has that thick foaming formula. And this is going to help lubricate the surface to prevent any kind of scratches and swirls while also adding that cleaning power to help release any of that stubborn dirt and filth. Now we'll add the same concentration to our big mouth foam cannon, which you've already filled with clean water. And a pro tip is to use warm water. And this will improve your foaming action, give you that thicker clinging suds, as well as a little bit of citrus washing gloss. Two or three ounces is plenty to achieve that thick clinging suds. And then we'll stir the solution together gently after we reattach the top. And by stirring it gently, this just creates that solution without creating any kind of turbulence inside of the bottle, which will create foam inside of the canister. And now we're ready to start foaming this vehicle. Now that we've just finished foaming up this vehicle, it's time to start scrubbing away all that dirt and filth. And we've grabbed a three-way wash mitt, which means it has three different sides. Starting off, we have a microfiber chenille dread, which helps to trap foam and also encapsulate abrasive particles so that it can be safely carried away from the vehicle. Then we have a microfiber scrubbing side for those tougher areas. And then lastly, a mesh side, which helps to scrub away tar, dead bugs, and also any kind of deep set in staining. And this makes us the perfect wash mitt for a vehicle that's never been detailed because as you can see, it doesn't have very much beading, but also with all that dirt and debris, we wanna make sure that we're safely removing it. This way we're not inducing any new scratches and swirls. So begin by placing it on our wrist. It has a very snug cuff here, and then we'll add some of our foam from our secondary wash bucket. And then we'll go back to the very top of the vehicle and then start working in linear motions. And this is going to prevent the further installation of any kind of imperfections like scratches and swirls. And then working in linear motions while also rolling our wrist, we're creating a fresh edge, which means we're not going to be grinding abrasive particles into the paintwork, which could further damage the paintwork. But we're just going to safely remove any type of filth and debris. And again, using the multiple faces and sides of this wash mitt, you can gently remove all the types of filth and dirt that accumulate on your vehicle and restore that showroom shine. So we've just brought this Toyota inside of the detail garage because we just finished washing it and drying it. Even though the paint is already looking really shiny, it's a huge difference from how it looked earlier. It feels really rough. And that's from all the contamination and fallout that lands on your paintwork. And after not washing it over periods of time, it actually embeds the clear coat, giving you that rough feel and a muted look. So to extract all that, we have our clay luber, which is going to help glide our clay bar across the surface. And we've already grabbed a medium kneaded bar that we kneaded up into a small pad that covers about three fingers. And then we'll just move our way to the vehicle and start spraying the luber down as well as the clay bar and our hands. And then working back and forth, we're gonna start extracting all the contamination, all that embedded grime that gives your paint that rough look. This is also a great way to remove overspray as well as staining on your paintwork without having to polish. But you can already see there's that light film of brown residue coming off. That's all that grime. And also show you the clay bar. I can feel it really extracting it. But once we show you that clay bar, you're gonna see all the filth that's just embedded and hiding on the surface of the vehicle.
Now as you clay bar, you're gonna to start to extract all that filth contamination, and as you can see, it gets stuck in the pores of the clay bar. So what you wanna do is roll it into a patty and find yourself a fresh side to continue the decontamination process without creating marring because you don't wanna drag all that kind of filth all over the vehicle. We'll just flatten this back out into a, a disc or a patty that we can maneuver and then continue the same process. So we've just finished doing the entire process of washing this vehicle, drying it, decontaminating it, and now we need to protect it, which is why we've chosen to use Butter Wet Wax. This is an easy to use form of adding protection and shine to any color vehicle. And since this vehicle is daily driven, we don't want to go with the entire process of polishing it and putting a long lasting ceramic coating, but instead we're going to put the easy to use wax, which anybody can apply. We're going to apply it by hand using a microfiber applicator pad. And we'll just start by applying a few dots to the pad, then spreading it out. So we'll start by applying a few dots to our applicator pad, and then we'll spread it out evenly over the entire hood that we're working on. And a little bit goes a long way, so there's no need to build it up in one area. Simply blotch it out, and then using a cross-hatching pattern, we're gonna start working it into the paintwork. And then we'll use that pattern to ensure that we're not leaving any high spots or build up in one area. Just applying a thin, even coat and if we want extra protection, we can always come back and apply an additional coat after we've already buffed off this initial layer. But if you think about it, only that layer that's touching the surface right now is all that's going to be used. The rest of it's going to be wiped away, so it's not necessary to put a heavy coat on at once, but instead build it up in layers to add that protection as well as depth and shine. But you can see a little bit goes a long way. Just those six little dots already covered half of the hood. The most important point of butter oil wax is that it's going to enhance the depth and shine of your vehicle while also rejecting harsh elements. But it only takes about 15 minutes for butter wet wax to bond and start curing. So we'll allow it time to do its job, then we'll come back with a clean microbe towel and buff off the excess. You guys just saw how much work is involved to get your vehicle looking from a daily driver to a beautiful showroom finish. And now we're gonna show you how easy it is to maintain that using two easy to use products. So we're gonna start right here with the wheels using Hydro Spin, and it's very easy to use. So we'll just start by spraying down the wheel and then wipe it away with a clean microfiber towel. And as we mentioned before, this vehicle was built for performance, so obviously it's going to kick up a lot of brake dust, but there's no need to break out a bucket of hose and all the tools when you can simply wipe it away using Hydrospin. Now we're moving on to the wash process on this BMW using Hydrospeed. Now, as I mentioned before, it's a ceramic infused detail spray, which not only boosts your existing coatings, but also adds its own protective coatings, which helps to give your vehicle the water beating, as well as making the surface nice and smooth to repel harsh elements, as well as dirt to keep the vehicle look cleaner for longer. So it's very easy to use. We'll start by spraying down the surface. And we'll give this a moment to dwell. This way it can encapsulate abrasive particles. But just like many of you who routinely detail and wash your vehicles, the same with this owner who has already taken the time to thoroughly wash it as well as polish it and apply a ceramic coating. It makes it very easy to remove all that dirt that was just sitting on top of the surface. And we're only gently wiping away any of that debris. But at the same time, we're adding shine, really enhancing that beautiful depth, while also enhancing the metallic flake while giving it that beautiful durable layer protection. And there you have it guys. You see what it takes to take your vehicle from a daily driven neglected vehicle to beautiful showroom shine. Now obviously it's gonna take a different regimen for each vehicle, but hopefully today's video is giving you guys the confidence to not only get out there and get your car looking its best, but to make it a showroom winner. Now you can check out all the products you've seen us use today on our website, chemicalguys.com or your local detail garage. If you guys liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to drop your comments down below for any future videos or anything else you may have questions about. And we'll see you next time right here in the detail garage.